Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. I'm your host, Andrea Jackson. From taking the fat out with the buckle treatment we talked about earlier to putting it back in, lip fillers have become a go-to routine for many. Celebrity makeup artist and lifestyle expert Michelle Phillips takes us through what we need to know about the procedure and how to make it less painful. Lip injections have become a big deal in the beauty industry. Are you curious and secretly thinking, I want my lips a little fuller? Or maybe you want to get rid of those lip lines? However, you may be afraid of doing so because you think you're going to end up looking like this. Well, today I'm going to show you a new injectable for the lips that will create fuller lips that look natural. Women young and old are having their lips injected for many reasons. Some want their lips to be fuller than their natural size, and others just want their lips to look like they did when they were younger, without the creases and the lines. Because as we get older, our lips actually age. What are some of the reasons that our lips start to age? Well, we're losing that collagen that around them, um, so the skin's thinning around. So the more we drink out of water bottles or sip out of straws, those little lines start creeping in. Um, the loss in hydration, you know, we lose the hyaluronic acid normally in our skin, and that's, you know, we don't have that luster of that smooth lip that we used to have. And we actually lose some, like, the bone, the dentition um, underneath that used to support those lips, and that when that goes away, they're not as supported as they used to be. I had been noticing a little bit of wrinkling in my lips and maybe even around the upper part of my lips. And she was like, well, you do have some aging there. It's a little bit of wrinkle. She goes, if we um, do some lip injections there, she goes, they'll look fabulous. And so I did it. So take us through the process of what you do. You actually numb the lips. So what we do for lips is we use a topical numbing cream on for about 10, 15 minutes before we do the injections. And then I just do a little modified nerve block to help dissipate some of the pain because lips are very sensitive. I must say it was pretty painless. You, they do the lidocaine over your lips and let it numb. And then she goes in and she does the little injections and it's, it's really not a big deal. So talk about Volbella. How is that different from um, other injectables? I call Volbella the gateway filler. It's a newer filler that was launched back in October. Um, and it's just a half syringe. And it's really just to help add a little hydration to the lips to really help tweak those lines and just add a little bit of volume. So it gives people like a taste. Um, and sometimes that's all people want to stay with. Right. But then, you know, maybe like the next time they come in for their six month appointment, maybe they would decide they want to go with a little bit of something more bolder, like a Juvederm or a Restylane. How long does it last? Um, as with all lip fillers, up to a year. What's the downtime? Definitely expect swelling, you know, okay. and I always say don't judge it for two weeks, you know, because you do have to, you know, let the bruising, if there's bruising that occurs, go away. You do have to let the swelling go down. Um, I mean, they're going to be a little bit bigger than you what you had, that's what you're paying for, right? But some people actually get a little nervous when they see all that swelling, and then it goes down, and then they're like, really wish the swelling was there <laughs> when it goes away. <laughs> but yes, some people should expect some swelling after. It's amazing because it keeps you looking like you. You don't change your face, you don't do anything drastic. It's, it's small little procedures that keep you looking young and beautiful, and yourself, which I think is the most important thing. If you're interested in having lip injections, there's a couple things that you need to keep in mind. First, make sure that you find a practitioner that has years of experience and can show you before and after pictures of their patients. Second, look through magazines and tear out pictures of what you would like your lips to look like. This way, they have a clear idea of what you want beforehand. Also, less is more. It's always better to have a little more added later than having too much in the beginning. Now over to you. I'd love to know your thoughts on lip injections. Post your questions or comments below the video. And also, do you have any questions about your skincare or beauty routine? We want to know what you would like to know to look and feel better. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and sign up for my email on my website, michellephillips.com, so you don't miss an episode. And join my online community on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. more ahead on Life Love Shopping, your life and style guide from A to Z.